After your initial build of your application for Cordova, you're probably going to want to make some changes. You're going to do some updates, you're going to change the CSS, change the JavaScript, the HTML, and every time you make a change to your application and you're actually going and testing it, installing it, you should be updating the version number of your application. So here I have a Cordova project. I'm inside my folder. You can see I've got a config.xml file and there's also a package.json file. Now Starting with version 7 of Cordova, you get both of these settings file. Before version 7, config.xml was the only settings file. Now package.json has been added because that's the default. When you're using Node Package Manager, NPM, that's what you're working with. So gradually things are being moved from config.xml to package.json. Both are being used right now and you can set anything that you want in terms of top-level settings in either file. So if you're talking about the uh, version number of the application, if you're talking about the app name, the author, uh, which platforms, which plugins are being used, those things can be set in either file. But if there is a conflict, if there's a difference between the two of them, then package.json will win out. So here I have my config.xml file. You can see it is an XML file and there is a root tag called widget. Inside of that, the ID, this is the package name for the application. So when it gets installed on the phone, this is how the phone is going to recognize it as a unique application. This name has to be different than any other application on the phone. The version number right here, this is your version of the application. So which version are you building? Okay, one, it's my first version. And then as I fix bugs and so on, I'm going to be updating this version going up and up and up in the version numbers and then okay maybe I've added a new feature so I'm gonna jump up a version here and go back to 1.1.0 so these major version minor version and the bug fixes hot fixes this is how you track the version number of your application name this is the uh, the name of the application that's going to be displayed on the phone description that's your own internal description author your name your email address your website if you want. So all these things have to do with what your app is called and when you install it, this version number right here, this is what the phone is going to use to decide whether or not you're trying to install an old version or the current one. It looks at on the phone and says, hey, I've got version 2 on the phone already. I'm not going to overwrite it with version 1.1. So you can change this to always update the version number. So making sure that you've got the latest version. Now, package.json does the same thing. Name, display name, version, description. Here we have the information. This is the package name. This is the display name that the user is going to see on their phone. And here is your internal version number. Now, like I said before, if there's a conflict with this information between the package.json and the config.xml, it's the package.json that's going to win out. So if I have 1.2 written here, and here I've got 1.1. Well, the 1.2 is going to win out. I save these two things, and then when I go to build my application, if I say Cordova build Android, there we go. It's going to compile my project. There we go. Rose gets the Android stuff, the Gradle, Gradle information to do the build, and it's going to build version 1.2 of my application. So I can now take that file and I can install it. So it said right here that it created my Android debug APK file right there. Inside of your platforms folder, there's an Android folder because that's what my application is using. So we go in here, we look at platforms, Android. Inside of that, there's a build folder right here. Inside of build, we have outputs. Inside of outputs, there's the APK folder. And there, this is my Android debug.apk file. This is the file that you're actually going to be installing on the device. So if you have an emulator running or a device running, you can say Cordova run Android or Cordova emulate Android. So this will install it and start it up on the emulator. Or if I change that to run, it's going to look for the phone, install it on the phone, run it on the phone. 
and it will check to make sure that the version number that you're trying to install is the same or higher than the one that's already on the phone. And that's it. That's how you manage the version numbers of your applications built with Cordova. All right. Thanks for watching.